Hey everybody, it's Terry with paperologist.blogspot.com and I wanted to share with you today a quick little screenshot video of how I have printed out all of the images in my Quick Cuts Silhouette library. So here we go. The first thing you're going to do is find your images, actually the icons of your images. So I go to my computer and I go to the C drive because that's where my programs are stored. I go to program files and you can sort by alpha sort this way and I'm doing reverse alpha sort because I want to find this folder called RoboMaster. I'm opening that up. I'm not going to open up anything else from this folder or really move around anything else. I'm just going to go to this folder here called Quick Cuts or QK View. Say that three times fast. So I'm going to open that up and once again I'm not going to mess around with anything in this folder except for opening this folder called Thumbnail. Now right now this folder is sorted by date modified. That's the date that the files were added to the folder or that I downloaded those images and bought them from the store. I have a subscription to the store and it's an unlimited subscription. So I go in frequently and browse for new images. But I'm going to sort them here by name. and. Um, that way it's just easier for me to find alphabetically. So I've clicked on this name tab up here, you'll see that. And then I'm also going to uh, click on thumbnails. That's going to let me see the little pictures of the images. And it'll take a little bit of time for that to process. And you'll see that they're listed alphabetically, starting with the numbers first. And here's the name of each piece. I'll right click on this, and you can see properties. And it tells you um, the file size, which is really, really small, but it gives you the whole name of the file, too. So that's kind of nice. All right, so I'm going to unclick this one. I'm just going to click somewhere else. I'm going to do Control A or Select All because I want it to print all of these images for me. I'm going to go to Print Selected Pictures and I'm using this little photo printing wizard and I'm going to pick Next and it's loading all 952 of my little icons here. So that doesn't take a lot, a lot of time. On a faster computer it would probably go even, well, faster. So here we go. It's going to show all the pictures in this window I could have also picked select all here and if I didn't want it to print this one I could just uncheck it. I'm going to pick next. I'm actually going to print to a PDF file. I could print to another printer but I'm picking PDF because I'm going to print these out on a different printer and, and maybe even send them out and have them printed at Costco where it's a little bit cheaper. Now I'm going to print what's called a contact sheet and a contact sheet prints 35 of these little images per page. So I'm going to click Next. And then it's asking me to name the file. So I'm going to name it Contact Sheet 031310 because that's the day that I'm doing it. And it's preparing to print. So you can see that it's sending all the pages to the virtual printer to make the PDF file. These images are going to print relatively small, like I said, 35 per page, because that's how the program's set up. And um, the, the resolution isn't fabulous, but it really doesn't need to be. This is really a reference tool for you, so that when you go to search your library, you have a point of reference, so you can start to type in the name. You could also cut these images apart if you really had a ton of time, and uh, make your own catalog and organize them how you choose. So here's my PDF file and I'm just scrolling through each page and I'll post a picture of how page one printed. So that gives you an idea of your images and I appreciate you watching. Thanks so much and have a great day. Oh and leave a comment or if you have any questions please email me and I'm happy to help. Thank you.